Oh yeah, but that's uh, that's recording. Uh, All right, hello everybody. Uh, there's Everson. Awesome. Okay, so uh, Everson. just going to go through the same. Uh, just going to go through the same warm up stuff that we started with last week. So we're going to work on a lot of our blending and uh, our pitch as a whole trombone section. Okay. So uh, let's just start off with the same Remington exercise we've been doing for a while now in half notes. So uh, uh, same thing as always, okay? Do you play the trombone, Mr. Carl? I've learned how to play the trombone uh, through methods courses. I don't play it frequently, though. I'd like to play some more, but... You play trumpet? Yes. But more on that note later. Uh, everyone in on Remington, okay? Here we go. And five, six, five, six, half note. My bad. Starting on concert F. Uh, right. So my bad. Starting on your F, okay? Five, six, seven, eight. big trombone, okay? Yep. Uh, we're going to move on into just holding out a concert F. So uh, we started on that side. We'll start with Andrew this time, okay? So I'll cue everybody in. Just slowly come in on a concert F, okay? So... Let's just try and make sure we're lifting it down so that we can then find it with our uh, with our embouchure when we uh, try to find it again on the way up, okay? okay. So let's lift it down, everybody on concert F. Five, six, seven. Everson and Misa this time. 
So we'll be, we'll be playing. Let's uh, let's play. Uh, just a counter to Misa. Then I'd like you to sh uh, just go uh, any in any direction to go away from the pitch that Everson's giving you. Okay. okay? <coughs> playing the F. Just, just to stay in the F normally. Right. Let's all listen to the beats that we get from uh, Misa's plan. Okay, guys. Here we go. And one, two, counter death. that arm wiggle exercise one more time, okay? So, uh, you guys keep playing, and then uh, everyone else... Pardon? Can I bend it this time? Sure, every single bend it this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should stay, okay? Well, well, everyone else, though, I'd like us to use our arms and wiggle them when we hear uh, the beats start to appear, okay? Don't need to use our full body, <laughs> yet, but uh, I like your enthusiasm. No, no, Here we go, and one, two, use the arm wiggle. and all the chords are playing. So just really make sure that we try to eradicate them all together, okay? All right, we're going to move into another harm, uh, different harmonic exercise this time. Uh, last week, we kind of worked on making sure people were playing on an F, uh, sorry. Yeah, people were playing on an F, A, and a C throughout the entire, uh, <coughs> throughout the entire section. So, uh, sorry, just that confused my notes. All right. Um, but we're going to switch it up this time. So you guys played F last time. I'd like you guys, I'd like uh, Nissan Everson, you guys will play the uh, concert F. Let's have you all play uh, the C, concert C above that. So you'll be playing uh, above that. And then you guys will be playing uh, concert A in the middle, okay? And the thing that I didn't mention last time, do you guys know what solfege is? Like mm -hmm. do, re, mi, fa, sol, yeah. all that stuff? Yeah. So what, we're trying to build like a proper triad. So with you guys being on F, you guys will be do. With you guys being on C above that, you guys will be do, do, uh, sol. So you guys will be sol above that, and you guys will be the mi in the middle, being the third, okay? So you just want to build a proper chord. So now let's, let's all, we're going to stagger our entrances. I'll give, I'll give uh, do to come in, then sol will come in, and then lastly I'll cue, cue me, okay? Here we go. Let's get do to come in. Five, six, seven, eight. pitches like we did last week. So do, so just stay on do. Everyone's going to start on do. So we'll all play concert F and then I'll motion to you all to scale up to sol. We'll make sure that you re-articulate concert F for do, okay? So, and now I'll move on to me. Uh, so you guys will then repeat concert F and then move up to concert A, okay? In scale degrees. So everybody, everybody's in on a concert F right now. Here we go. And five, six, seven, do.
really uh, drill, trying to drill on the points of making sure that we're all playing in balance. But if we can make sure that everyone's blending the same sound, we want to like layer our type, our sound on top of one another. Okay. So uh, yeah, beyond that, that was a pretty good job of uh, doing that. So um, yeah, um, beyond that, good job. So uh, let's move on into hymn song. We didn't get to it last week, so I'd like to start okay. with hymn song. Brilliant idea. Let's do the, the dwarf song from The Hobbit. From yes! Uh, yes! Uh, uh, I'll arrange it. Are you the section leader of the trumpets in the Big Red Marching? I'm one of them, yeah. So do you know Michael Braun? Yeah, I do. And I also know David Heller. Oh, hey, I yeah, know a kid. He goes, he lives in Lincoln. Where is he? Where he is in Lincoln. But, uh, but yeah, both of them are really good guys. What do you think of David Huffler? I like both of the guys. You think he's not creepy at all? <laughs> <laughs> not, I'm not here discussing with colleagues, per se. So. All right, let's make sure we're all getting hit on that. Let's look at, uh, guys, listen up really quick. Bring it in. Uh, good, going to uh, start at measure 58, okay? We're going to work backwards. What's up, Everson? They, we didn't, we are missing one copy of this. Okay. So, uh, is there just one copy to you? I, I, I would be I with Ty. I okay. What, uh, what, what, what's our part three down here? Who's, who's on first? Uh, oh. Okay. Uh, who's on second? And I don't know who's on third. Uh, that's good. Uh, I was on the third piece, but there was no second piece yeah. for those uh, guys. Yeah. Yeah. I can play second. So what, what, what part? Just double, just double with me, so that Joe and I'll take one. I can play second today. Okay. Do we have all the parts represented, though? Let's just no. make sure that we all have, oh, we don't have all the parts. No, there is no seconds here. Can someone play seconds? Okay, thanks. Okay. Right. So wait, there's like no second piece. On the second and first are combined. Oh, same. They're the same. I'm so sure. Yeah. Andrew, you need to understand. Can I? Don't you? Andrew, are you fight? Uh, I'm looking at something. Right at 58. Here we go. 58 to 69. Playing through this first exercise. the rest of your songs. All right, here we go. 58 to 69. Everybody's in. And one's up. You guys got 58? Here we go. One. Here we go. You almost good, Nisa? Well, we don't have to look at half of our hymn song. We only have one hymn song. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Lily. You always got one back. Wait, do I have it? I only got half of it. Sorry about this. It's okay. It's that mishaps are understood. I just want to make sure that we're moving along and getting stuff You have to be organized for us. I only got half the first page. There's a no, there's two things. Wait, 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 that's okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we have it. Right. We can all just share. Yeah. Joe and I have it all. We, okay, we got this. Okay, we let's try 58 to 69 really quick, okay? Uh, <laughs> and here we go. Right here. One, two, 58 is here. <laughs>
I'm already noticing is uh, make sure we're really going for all the dynamics. We're probably at a mezzo forte, so let's just all bring it up to forte. Also, in that last measure, um, let's see, before in 68, we, we've got uh, we've got that uh, decrescendo and a crescendo from a forte, oh, sorry, forte into a mezzo forte. So let's bring it out this time. Right at 68, that's sustained. Let's bring out that decrescendo and that crescendo. Get it? 68. One, two, ready, go. Can you guys, uh, can you yes. all now, listen to, uh, let's, I'm going to ask you all for uh, some little bits of uh, advice after listening to uh, okay. them this time, okay? Here we go. Let's, uh, let's start at 58, uh, third time. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> So let's make, so uh, just make sure that uh, we find that pitch. As, as far as your rhythms go, just make sure that you're really bringing out um, the difference between your 16th notes and the 8th notes when they appear, okay? Let's have first and seconds, and now Joy and Wyatt, oh, yeah. listen up, and maybe we'll have something to tell them after they play it, okay? First and seconds uh, at 58. Here we go. And five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Thank you. 
especially when first trombone, yeah. first and second trombone yeah. have sustained, really bring out your uh, dotted uh, quarter note and your eighth notes below that line. Okay. All right. Let's uh, move back a little bit further. Do we have 39 and 57? Can we all see if we have 39 and 57 yeah. now. All right. Let's uh, move back a little bit. Back up. I forget what this is from. Like, I forget what this was. Why would you do this for jazz band? No, no yeah. this. <laughs> Blake played the Barry sax, and then he was really enjoying the song, so instead of just tapping one foot, he was tapping both feet, and huh? then he was going double time. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> 39 to 57, here we go, everybody's in it. And, <coughs> one, 30, got it. 30 what? 39 to 57. Okay. Yeah. And five, six, five, six, seven, And 
<laughs> you know what? Joe and Wyatt aren't the only ones who have that dotted eighth, um, sorry, wow, dotted quarter eighth note. So just really make sure that whenever you, whenever you all have that instance, that you really try and peep it legato, but that you don't let that eighth note get lost in that as well, okay? Okay, um, let's uh, do 39 to 58 one more time and really bring out measures 44 and 45 and the changes that we worked on in there, okay? So 39 to 57, or 58, here we go. That full section one more time. Five, six, seven, eight.